Hi, I'm Lucia Miguel. I'm in marketing and assisted in training from McNeil, Miami. And today I wanted to invite you to our Rhino 6 and 7 online course we have available for you for free from our Rhino 3D.education website. And also, I wanted to show you a quick preview of one of the chapters in this course. To enroll, visit our Rhino 3D.education page and follow us on social media to stay up to date on all we have to offer. The links are in the description below. Okay, now let's get started. First, we're going to open the SubD tools and we're going to delete maybe one, two, three, four, five, six. Enter. And the same over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. On the other side, I'm going to delete one, two, three, four, five, six. And six over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So notice that they're a little bit different. Now we can go ahead and use the bridge. The bridge wants you to select the same number of edges at the start position and the same number of edges at the end. So select the edge, double click to select the whole loop and press enter. And do the same on the top. Select, double click, press enter, and there we have the bridge. You can choose how many segments you want for the bridge and if you want a crease or not. And you can also make it a little less straight. We can decrease the segments to 5 and hit OK. I'm happy with that bridge. Let's repeat it. Let's select the edge, double click to select the whole loop, enter, and do the same on the top, select, double click, and enter. So now we have the bridge. Now the straighten is over here, and I like it. Perfect. Now that we have that, let's use the reflect sub D object command. And that way, we can make a reflection of this object around the y-axis. And I'm going to keep the left side. So enter, and ta-da! Now, we can remove the reflect command, and we can continue. So what would you like to do next? How about if we delete maybe this one over here and this one and that one three of them enter and let's do the same over here so let's click on the delete command one two and three enter and now let's make the bridge in between so select the edge double click enter Select the edge, double click, and enter. And let me work with the straightness here and a few more segments. Hit OK, and you now get the idea, right? <laughs> now you can connect this one to this one or this leg with this beam. It's your choice. Let me go back and unhide the bottom and the top. And I can go back to my sub D tools and bridge this edge, enter, with this edge, enter. And there you go. Maybe I only want two segments and I do need a crease. And there you go really really sharp edge if you don't like that sharp edge you can unselect the crease and don't make it that straight and for the segments we can choose three okay 
Let's repeat the command. Click, click, enter. Select the edge, double click, enter, and hit OK. And now we are ready to render it. There. Looks really, really beautiful.